Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do Google posts the easy, simple way. If you're interested in doing Google GMB posts, watch this. Right, so I dedicate this video to Darren Marion from Retail SEO. I miss you, brother. All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you about Google Posts, how to do them, how often to do them, how to spy on your competition. And this is all about Google Posts. I mean, let's get crazy. Let's get nuts. So if you search your brand, so my brand is MindSaw. That's the name of my business. And if you scroll down to my knowledge panel, with 166 five-star reviews. And if you like this video, please leave me a review. There's one in the, uh, there's a link in the description below. And you scroll down, these are the Google posts. This is how you see the Google posts. It does a couple of things. It lets your customers find out a little bit more about you and what you do. And it also lets Google know that you're alive. So if you're trying to uh come up in the search engine in, in the google three pack for a certain term like for example website designer let's just say you would write several posts throughout the month about the keyword website designer uh giving information about website designer you know what's what website designers do why should you hire a website designer over a web developer all those type of things and you just create google posts so it gives more information out to the person who's looking for your service it lets google know you're alive and it's showing google that you're writing about a specific subject and when you write about that specific subject, like website designer, and in the Google three pack, if you're in, you know, sixth or seventh place, it may help you up in the rankings. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. And I also have a couple little tricks. I'm going to show you how to do those also. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to get this Chrome extension called GMB everywhere. I've been shouting it out in my videos over the past uh, past couple of videos, but it's fantastic and it's a great tool to have. It's a great tool to have when you're figuring out what posts to create and how often you need to post. Okay. Then you're going to come over to your Google My Business. Once you log in, you click posts and I'm going to show you how to create a post. What I'm doing right, how, right now is giving you the 500 foot view. I'm going to get more in depth as the video goes on, but I'm just showing you what you need to do, right? So uh, you'll come over to your Google My Business and this is where you create a post by, by clicking this blue button on the bottom here. So let's kind of get into the, let's kind of get into the lesson right now. So your keyword, the keyword that I'm using today, you could be an electrician or a, or a lawyer or a plumber, whatever your situation is, just substitute for website designer Tampa Bay, electrician Brooklyn, uh, San Diego, uh, chiropractor, right? And when you click search, you will notice the Google three pack, which is located right here, right? This is the Google three pack. When I click all my uh, GMB everywhere that I that I um, installed, just by one click, just go to GMB everywhere, click install Chrome extension. It does it itself, and you'll now see these three buttons right here. See that? Basic audit, review audit, and post audit. So what I want to do is I want to click the post audit. And it's just going to process, it's going to pull out all their uh, GMB posts over the last 30 days, and it's going to put together a report so I could see how many times this company that is my competition is posting. All right. So let's scroll down and see some of the numbers. So 
it analyzed 39 posts over okay over the past couple of months right since since february it's october right now and it lets you know the average number of words on the post they only use 16 16 words per post and they don't use any videos so that's good to know right so it looks like this company every time they post they just put a picture which is what i do too and it's not the worst thing right so right here they just put a picture they you can install a video here you can put a short video here as well let's see what else they're up to they post once a, about once a week so i know if i'm trying to beat them in the google three pack posts if if po if if trying to get into the google three pack was a pizza pie and there are, I think, like 12 slices in a pizza pie. This is just one slice. If I post three times a week, I am not going to be in the Google 3-pack if that's all I do. Right? But this is one thing that you could do which will help your rankings. So I know that somebody in the Google 3-pack is posting only once a week. I'm going to automatically post three to five times a week. Okay? This is the amount of posts with links. These are the average number of characters, right? Each, each time you type the key bed, it's a character. And every time they post, well, just about every time they post, they posted 39 times over the past couple of months, but 37 times they've included an image. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the ultimate way to post, how to post, but you have to start with this uh, GMB Everywhere. All right. So run over to GMB Everywhere and install the Chrome extension. I have the link in the description below. So just scroll down to the bottom of this video. Listen, as you scroll into the bottom, I have a little um, uh, review link, a, a Google review. If you'd like to give my business, give me a, a five-star review. That would be fabulous if, you, if this video brought you any... Uh, any value, please feel free to give me a review. I also have some donation links or if you want to share the video. But OK, let's move on to the next part. All right, guys. So if you're anything like me, you're like, OK, man, I'm ready to um, I'm ready to do my first post. Right. But what do I do? What, what should I do a post on? So I'm going to give you a little secret here. You're going to just go to Google and just type in what I'm typing in site semicolon business dot site then the keyword for example dui lawyer chiropractor whatever keyword you're trying to rank and the city name so my example is site semicolon business dot site website designer right that's my keyword and that's my geo which is Tampa Bay, All right? I'm just gonna give you a couple of seconds to look at it. Site, semicolon, business.site, dot website, not dot, uh, site, website designer, Tampa Bay, right? Because I'm trying to rank for website designer, Tampa Bay. Actually, I'm not trying to write, I'm just showing you an example. I'm not trying to rank, I'm just trying to show you what I'm trying to do here. Okay, now why am I doing that? Inside the GMB, Google gives you a website. You see? Google gives you a website. And inside the Google website is all your posts. So what we're going to do is we're scraping the web and we're looking at our competition's Google site that they give them because all their posts are on that Google website site let me show you what i mean i think i went to this one already so if i scroll down right these are their posts right here so if i wanted to write a uh 
if I wanted to write a post on, you know, coronavirus or something like this or whatever they wrote here, this would be an idea. But that's, that's, you know, okay, that's something to think about. Let me check somebody else. Let me see. See, this is all my competition's business sites. They're Google business sites. And inside the business sites have all their posts. All their posts are located inside the business sites, right? So let me see what Clearwater e-commerce website design is doing. Okay, you know what? That's a good idea. I may say to myself, right? That's a good idea. I like that image. So I could get an image like that. I could create an image. I could go over to Fiverr and I could have somebody could take this URL and just copy it. Go over to Fiverr, right? Let me just show you for some of the newer people here. Right, just run over to Fiverr. If you don't know how to create yourself and you just type in graphic design, right? And you'll just find somebody that could create an image, see, for $5. That's all, I wouldn't spend more than $5 on that and I'd have somebody create an image just like this because I love the image. And I'd write something very similar to that. So. That's how I would create my post. That would be my idea for creating a post. Okay, so that would be an idea for me. So what you need to do is just go over to your Google My Business. I'm going to move my picture. And you see this blue button right here. We're just going to click that blue button. And this is where you create your post right here, okay? Simple enough, you just click what's new, you add a picture, you type in your post, right? Based on the example that you, that you saw your, your competition, and then you do a call now button, and, and it'll add the phone number, and you click publish, and when you publish it, it'll come out something like this. So that's just a basic, a basic post. That's just a basic post. Now in the next, um, in, 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 in the next slide, I'm just going to show you one or two tricks, things that you may want to consider when you're creating some of these posts. Two hundred and fifty-three pounds. Right, I think it's from from all my treats that I've been eating lately. So one of the things that I forgot, not forgot, but another way to get content is see what is buzzing out there. So, all right, so do you uh, website designer? Right, we're talking about that. Website designer, find content. Buzz Sumo will give you. Every day, I think you do a search or two or three for free. Okay, so it looks like, like if you create a post like this, become a globally sought after, highly paid website design designer. There's a lot of Facebook engagement. Tips for hiring the best website designer. Right? You see that? You see that? So come over to uh, come over to Buzz Sumo, and it's another great place to find to find uh, content. So you could come over here, you check out the article, you see the picture, and you write your own. You write your own. You write your own article just based on just based on this, right? Okay. So that's another way. That's a, that's another way to get content. All right, guys, so we're coming down the home stretch here. So we need to create a post. So what I like to do is I look, like to put the keyword in the post and add my logo to the, um, to the picture, All right? Then I am writing about, are you looking for a website designer in Tampa Bay? And we just write a little article about looking for a websiter website designer, a couple of FAQs, 
right? And we create a link to our page right here, right? And then we create, let me show you something else. Another link to learn to learn more, that's gonna to go to the keyword page, right? And it's gonna to go to the uh, website design page, right? Local website design, it's gonna to go to that local website design page. See that? Very simple. So whatever page you're creating a post on, you want to create a link that links to that page, see? Right here where it says learn more, that's going to learn more. You're going to learn more about that, about our service by clicking the link and going to the website design page or going to your DUI lawyer page or going to your residential electrician or going to your uh, uh, common back problems for, you know, eight common back problems for uh, chiropractor, right? So that's what you do. Also, don't forget this right here. Share, whenever you create a post, always share it out on Facebook and, and Twitter and take the link, right? So you could take this link, you could copy this link and you could be very creative with this link, right? And you could you know, write an article and post it on another website and link back to this Google post. It's a lot of things that you could do, but this video really is just for our people like, you know, hey, I want to get started with Google Posts. And um, this is a good starting point, right? This is a good starting point. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I say in all my videos, I, I, I create these videos to help you um, in your business and help you improve your business so you could make more money and you could stay home, uh, spend more time with your family, right? So... I would be irresponsible if I didn't say, while you're working, make sure you're nice to your family. Be nice to the people who love you, even when you're working very, very hard and you think the things that, they, that they're doing are nonsense because you're the one working really hard and you're the one trying to make money you know, while they're doing things that seem nonsense to you, right? Because there's going to be a day where you have a lot of money and you have a lot of free time, because, but because you were so nasty to them for those years, they're not going to want to deal with you. So you got all that money, you got all that free time, but you don't have the family. You got the family now, right? You got the family, you got, you got people in your house. Be nice to them because the money's coming and the free time is coming. Okay? All right, guys. <clears throat> I'm going to enjoy my coffee. I'm telling you something. I enjoy it. You know, if there's anything that I could do to help you, please feel free to text me. I, I get back to anybody. I, I shut my um, ringer off before I go to sleep. So you could text me in the middle of the night. It's okay. Usually wake up around two or so. I check my messages and uh, I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. I promise I could, I'll get back to you in a couple hours. Every, 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 anybody that texts me, I always get back to them. If you have a question about something, you want to do maybe some private uh, coaching. You want me to take over your website and get in the Google 3 pack. Whatever you're interested. You want to say hello. You want to know what's going on with the coffee I'm drinking. That's what I'm here for. All right, guys. Have a great day, and we'll catch you on Monday.